I hear that I may be live during Retrothon 2022. Retrothon 2022. What's going on, everyone? I hope you're ready for a little bit of a shmup action. A little bit of quicker shmup action. We're gonna do a little lag, reducing strats, all that kind of good stuff. <laughs> Not gradius for DOS. Not so much today. Maybe upon the future. Upon the future, that's what they normally say. <clears throat> What's going on, y'all? Gradius trilogy here. Um, I'm hoping, uh... I mean, it's Gradius. Hoping for some, for as little deaths as possible. <clears throat> no misses all over. Maybe we get a clean three straight no misses. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe I die immediately in Gradius. <laughs> we'll have to see. It's going to be fun either way. We're going to be doing Gradius 1 and 2 on the NES. Uh, Gradius 2 only came out in Japan, I believe. Uh, and then Gradius 3 on the Super Nintendo to finish it off here. <laughs> Thank you all so much for the good luck. And for you, Peapod Salmon. I'm doing this for you. For you. All right. Let's -a go. <clears throat> so, off the bat here... We're gonna be doing a special manipulation. So there is rapid fire in this game. But you have to manipulate it specifically. So now we need to get to 10,000 points. And there we go. All we had to do is get to 10,000 points and then cycle forward in the rotation. And we're good to go. Ooh. Did I just miss my first warp, though? I may have just missed my first warp. Off to a banging start here. So how you warp in the first stage of Gradius is, uh... Uh, I will show you the specific turrets here. I'm pretty sure I missed it, but that's okay. It's these things right here. You have to destroy them. There's four of them, and you have to destroy them when you have an even number in the thousandth digit. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think I did. Oh, fudge. I wanted to actually make it safe. <laughs> eh, but that's okay. It's just one stage. It's not going to be too big of a deal for the overall trilogy. Um, oop, get that, please. <laughs> in, the, in the league, Kong. And to avoid uh, volcanic pressure in this one, I don't have a shield here, which I would much be much more comfortable with, but we sit here, and we did make it, and, uh... And we're going to try to line up a quick kill. Oh, you can't line up the quick kill here. But if you line up your top fin with the star I'm right next to right here, this thing, as you can see, will not move. Boom. Escape. Now, normally I would be warping to stage three here, but unfortunately I did miss uh, one of the warps, but that's all right. And we don't have to worry too much about lag reduction strats in this one either. This one, uh, besides one stage, is is mostly lag free. <laughs> and we're gonna try to run this with one option for quite a while. The way that way we can uh, make it a little more lag free uh, at the moment. So in this game. Um, I might need another speed up. Uh, the more options and upgrades you have, the, uh, the slower bosses are going to spawn their core. Um, 
So that's why we're opting for one less option here to make it a little bit, uh, a little bit quicker on the bosses. There's also a death we can take in stage six in a very specific spot, but I don't know if we're going to be able to do that in this run, if I'm being entirely honest. See if we can get it. We'll see if we're feeling comfortable at that point. I need more speed is what I need. There we go. I feel a little more comfortable moving around. So speed is your best, uh, your best and worst weapon in Gradius. You will run into things <laughs> the faster you get, so you got to be careful with that. But okay, but for overall we should be fine. And getting the auto fire in the beginning is important, especially in the lag stage, when we uh, when we do that in a little bit here. Um that it will be stage uh, five, I believe. We're not gonna get the warp in this stage either. Normally we would not have seen this stage in the run, but that's fine. The, uh, there's three warps in this game. The first is destroying those four weapon uh, launching platforms in the first stage with even numbers in the thousandth digit. There is, uh, you have to beat this boss in under two seconds, which means we don't want to actually kill this boss that fast. So we're just gonna wait politely and then boom, is dead. Is dead. <laughs> is dead. <laughs> three FPS. Uh, that's the plan, MTI, is to not run it at three FPS. We're gonna do our best. And yeah, that boss is dead, but we didn't get the warp, which is a good thing here. And now we got our last warp manipulation. This one's the easiest in the game, in my opinion. Because that, that boss in under two seconds is easy if you know how to do it. But it can be pretty difficult overall. But this one is just to kill ten Moai heads in this stage. We already have three. Uh, and then at 10, we will warp at the end of the stage. And everything will be Gucci. <clears throat> but yeah, if you can line it up uh, per uh, right here where you're hitting them in the face like, like in the nose, you can still kill them. They won't open up if you're directly aligned with them, but if you uh, go downwards so they open up their mouths, your options will take out them. Take out them. They'll take out them. <laughs> Holy cannolis. And I believe we've had way more than 10 at this point. So we don't have to worry about it. We've nailed this warp. Sometimes you gotta take out them, you know? It's just that easy. And of course, this is a little stage um, where they're just gonna launch these things at you for a second. Ain't nothing but a G thing. Oh, baby, we got an extra life too? Let's go. We lifing up in here. Alright. Oh! Archeasy. Line it up with that star with the top end of your tail, your ship. Beat that boss in no time. And here's the warp zone. What we missed in the first area. Little Moai head spinning around. We're skipping stage four, which has the coolest music, I think, in the game. Uh, you never get to hear it on the any percent run of this, unfortunately. <laughs> Alright, we took a lot of bullets back there, I want to say, so let's go ahead and refresh our shield. There we go. Now we actually want to get an additional option here. Um, it will assist in destroying these, uh, weapons, or these enemies faster, and also I mentioned rapid fire being important for this part specifically. Because this part will lag and you will drop inputs. So you really want that rapid fire so you don't have to worry about those inputs. 
And then we're gonna see spawning lovely uh, one and two armor armed brain things coming into the screen. I'm not gonna be quite as aggressive as I'd normally be because it's just a little too scary for the marathon. Uh, but but as you can see, you can just hold A here and just take these things out without having to worry about those dropped inputs. And we'll have to go through a few of these and then we're done. And this is the worst stage in the game, I want to say, like, by far. These meatballs are so laggy and so obnoxious. <laughs> but this is also one of the biggest time saves in the entire run, too, when you get down to it. Because <laughs> uh, this lag is such a killer for when it comes to time. And time and, you know, most uh, shmup speedruns is, is lag reduction and boss kills. Alright, see, so we made it through that part not too bad. Yeah, the frame rate is, it just dies when on this stage. And Gradius 3 it will will be the first one that is particular, particularly noticeable on, like, an entire game level. Gradius 3 has lots of lag. <laughs> Excuse me. Alright, look who it is again. It's our favorite uh, enemy ship. Boom, it's dead. <laughs> All right, so the rest of the game, the bosses are actually time-based and not, you, you can't kill them. Um, so the option here would be to be, uh, be with as little uh, options as possible. Once again, this is a very scary, because you can end up uh, really screwing yourself in stage, uh, the last stage, which is very difficult. <clears throat> uh, but the lasers on this stage are wonderful. They help so much. Lasers and autofire, because if you die, you actually lose the autofire. Um, and at one point, I routed it that, because uh, we used to actually die before the stage started to get the extra time bonus on the boss. But there's a way you can die in this stage with barely losing any time. Uh, which is, which ended up being another big uh, run improvement. Uh, but I also will be skipping that on this run <laughs> as it is just a little too dangerous <laughs> for last stage issues, basically. But you basically run into the bottom there right when it appears into the screen, and the, the screen will just continue scrolling as you respawn almost. It's it's a really quick death. Uh, and this boss, uh, this boss you kill in the, uh, I'm pretty sure in the arcade and the TurboGrafx version you kill this boss, but in this version, it's just a time boss. There's nothing you can do but sit here and just wait. <laughs> danger, danger! Danger Hype Train! Yo, shout out to y'all. And boo! We done, and we're on the last stage already. Last stage already. <laughs> My favorite part, though, is... Uh, is just learning and figuring out the new strats I, I figured out during the... speedrunning this game. And adding techniques to the speedrun is, like, one of the best things, the best feelings, I want to say. And at this point, the game has no way to quicken it uh, at all. Uh, the last boss is always the same amount of time. And as long as you're, uh... Um, as long as you don't die, basically, this stage is the same every time. <laughs> and it plus it has awesome music. This is the one we've switched to double in because we need the uh, that upward shot and we have missiles to cover the bottom. It's groovy as they say. 
Groovy. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Yo, thank you all so much for the awesome support. Much appreciated. Retrothon, my favorite speedrunning event of the year. Okay, all right. Ease up now there, game. Ease up. Let's just take a chill pill <laughs> and not kill me. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, and we are at the final boss. Uh, in the arcade and the other versions, you actually have to shoot these things on the side, but in this version, they just don't exist. <laughs> just fly through them. <laughs> oh! And that's Gradius 1. Move on to Gradius 2. <laughs> and of course, we're going to go with Spread Bomb because it is so useful in this one. Hope you're ready for some jams. And if you're familiar with Life Force, a lot of this game might look familiar to you. Life Force being another Konami shmup. Very similar to, uh, Gradius. Oh, what? Ah, oh, You dirty game. These actually sound like they take a lot of hits, but once they start moving, they go down to dying in one shot. All right, listen to that music. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so good. I assume a lot of people probably haven't even seen this one. Uh, so this should be an interesting viewing for many. Hopefully I can do it well. This one's definitely harder than the first one. <laughs> Six, oh, <laughs> well, there you go. I already died. Uh, it's definitely harder than the first one. That was my own fault. Uh, I should not have tried to cut that so close. <laughs> Not a big deal, though. <laughs> du, 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 uh, there we go. Let's try to... There we go. Let's take that missile. There we go. We're going to see a lot of the missile use on this run for boss kills. It's so good. And this thing's just going to keep launching ships at me. So we're just going to avoid it. <laughs> we're going to try to kite this dragon up here. Grab it as well. We're gonna sit here so that thing doesn't spawn and hit us. Gonna take a little more speed too. These birds, if you've seen them in Life Force, you'll notice that they are wonderfully the same in here. And now you're gonna see something that everybody who plays Life Force hates <laughs> the fire uh, whips. It's okay though, once they actually stop firing in this one, they will not continue firing in that area. It's nice. Ah! Oh, that's my own fault again. Bad start to the Gradius, too. That's okay though. Again, it's just the first stage. As long as we can get ourselves uh, worked up here, we'll be fine. Might, might take a reset in this one if I continue to get uh, murdered left and right here. I was just trying to get a shield, actually. That's what I was going for uh, previously, but we'll play it more safe this time. We'll just stick to the outside here. There we go. Hey, a force field. Look at that. Novel, right? <laughs> but this is basically alternating uh, between the fire arcs. And that should be it. Unfortunately, this boss is going to take a little longer since we didn't get any of our, our real upgrades in here. We're going to grab the missile. We're going to try to grab an option as well. Good. Can we get laser? Can get one more? All right. Not bad. Not bad. A little rough start here, but that's Gradius too for you. We're gonna see how fast we can kill this one. 
We can normally kill it pretty much right as it lands. All right, not bad. <laughs> I'll take it. After everything else, I'll take it. <laughs> I will take it. Not a bad boss kill with the a little amount that I had. <laughs> We're gonna double our laser, which makes it faster in this one. And we're gonna grab that second option. There we go. This is where it starts to get a bit laggy. If you're not too careful. Um. So hopefully, we won't be darning into too much lag. Trying to squash it as much as we can as we go. We're just gonna stay back and then go forward so we don't have to get hit by that bullet. Bullet, bullet. Boom, boom. Lots of bullets flying here right now. We're just gonna take that one out so it stops. There we go. And again, we're gonna be abusing the uh, crap out of these missiles for bosses. There we go, okay. We have these things gonna come at us. These arms, uh, you can't kill them unless you push them all the way back down, which is pretty easy with the bombs, um, but it does lag a lot if you shoot here. It's actually worse if you shoot here a lot because your bombs and stuff will explode, but if we just get past them enough, they will die themselves. <clears throat> there we go. <clears throat> this, uh, this is a complete jam, by the way. Complete jam. Let me know if it's loud enough. Everybody deserves to hear Gradius 2 music. All right, we're just gonna max out on options here. Take one more speed. And, uh, and we're going to be pretty set for a little bit. As long as we don't run into a wall or end up getting ourselves killed some other way. Most likely a wall. Like I said earlier, speed is one of your biggest uh, strengths and weaknesses in Gradius because walls exist. All right, let's see what we can do here. Get a nice quick kill here. Boom. Very nice. So it's not loud enough. Yeah, I can do it. I can make it louder. Uh... It's like, I, I, Gradius 2 is a quieter game than Gradius 1. <laughs> so it's easy to uh, miss it, but yeah, let's get those options in the face. Have it come forward here, loop down, and boom. Alright, let's go ahead and boost that a little bit, alright. This is a little faster than I normally am. Oh, and you might see options still there. If you get it again, you get little circular options. Yeah, little circular options. It's not that useful, but it's a neat little thing to have. <laughs> oh, yes. Look, listen to that song, man. Are you serious? It's so good. So good. Like, is there even point of commentating over some music this good? The answer is no, by the way. There we go. This is where I'm using my speed to my advantage. The faster you are, the more your options spread out. Thus, you can manipulate them uh, through walls and stuff to kill enemies that you don't want to deal with coming up. Like, I can come down here and then straighten out, and then boom, that enemy is now gone. And hey. Making everything easier for us. And then we're gonna destroy that. Spooky. Very spooky. Uh, there's gonna be this here. A little ship launcher, but not to worry about as long as we take out the volcanoes. Volcanoes are the big threat here. But 
but this is actually a, a stage without a boss. It just extends into another stage here, which is, again, fantastic music. And we're also going to use our bombs here to reduce a lot of the lag. The more options we have here, the better. It, it may sound counterproductive uh, with, uh, with lag, but in here you need as much spread as you can to get rid of these crystals as they spawn because they will lag the game a lot, as you can see right there. So the faster we get rid of them, the better. Right. Yo, hype train hype, let's go. But this music is so good. Alright, we're gonna use our option uh, spread here to be more, uh, uh, get rid of these crystals so we can get the lag back on our side. As in no lag. <laughs> We, we have to break the crystals because there's too many to not and you'll end up just dying. So the faster they go down The less it's gonna lag <laughs> Uh, Yes, I can confirm that they are a lot easier than the PC version but, I mean, the PC versions of Gradius and Gradius 2 are much more based on their arcade alternates. <laughs> and while this is, it's more set up in a, I guess, a more reasonable fashion, because Gradius Arcade is not really reasonable difficulty, <laughs> one might say. And there we go. We gotta look out here. These things will insta kill you. They are walls. Uh, so we have a little more crystals coming up here. And then we're gonna be at the boss. Another speedrun strat I've added to the Gradius NES universe. Um, I won't be doing it here because, again, it's way too risky at the moment, especially with my shield not being full. But you basically line up at the bottom and you, you draw the crystal boss to the bottom and you can be lined up right here. It'll pretty much eat your shield, but you can kill it almost immediately. It's really a bit dangerous. <laughs> oh, I almost got it anyways. Fine. It'll lock up for a second. And then, we got it, we got it. And then we're, we're moving on. I, I may be looking to switch my shield here. We can get some bullets from the enemies. I could just run into enemies. There we go. <laughs> Now we have a nice recovered force field. And we move him. And hey, it's the Moai head stage. Uh, again, routing is important in this one. But it also just killing the Moai heads is really important because you're gonna reduce a lot of lags and vomiting up fruit loops at you. This is impotent. We're gonna stay up here. It's just less Moai heads overall. And we're gonna try to get as many as we can. Ones that turn around are a little harder, but we're trying to stay behind enough on the screen that we just have them kind of despawn their own vomited fruit loops as to not keep the screen laggy and overall I'd say we're doing a pretty good job in this stage so far not too much extra lag input on this one now 
they turn red for some reason, but they are they are still the same. I guess they're angrier at us because we got further than they wanted us to. Typical Moai heads, you know how they are. Always angry in Gradius games. Uh -huh, okay. A little extra lag at the end there, but that's okay. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. There's another Moa head. Exact same one in Life Force. Pretty much have the same life cycles they do in Life Force. Hmm. Alright. So here's a Moa head stage boss. And that's the boss. In the arcade, or any other versions, I believe you have to destroy all three mouths, but in the Famicom port, you do not. All right, it's boss rush time, everyone. Who's hyped for some bosses? <coughs> Excuse me. abuse those bombs here <laughs> they are very important on killing bosses quickly in this game oh my god it's the brain and life force almost got it uh, there we go <laughs> all that extra speed helping there a little bit get back in front blow that eye out Brush it off, you know how it is. Another familiar boss from uh, Life Force. And this is again another one we're gonna abuse these uh, these bo these uh, missiles with. There we go. Don't need to shoot into it. Can't protect itself from the explosives. This is the final boss in Life Force. In this one, it just kind of flashes and... Yeah, I don't really do a whole lot. <laughs> Doesn't really didn't do a whole lot in Life Force either. Now we got the final boss in the boss rush. We're gonna try to hold this pose as long as we can. I was a little too high overall, but... Hey. Still got it in a second. No big deal. Abusing them bombs. And we are through the boss rush. <laughs> Alright. Not too shabby. Only a couple more stages in this one, really. Then we're going to be moving on to uh, Gradius uh, Trey. Another awesome stage music. This is the first speed up stage. I believe. Or no, 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 not this one, right? Oh no, it is this one. It's just combined with another part of the stage. Oh, that's another good jam though, right? Right? So good. We've done a pretty good job at cycling our lag on this run. Uh, I may just go to refill my shield here and take a couple of hits, but at the same time, I should maybe just play it safe. <laughs> just a little bit, just a wee bit safe. <laughs> Ah, 
right, here we are. Here's the speed up section. It's not really that much sped up. <laughs> Um, but it is a little bit, if you don't have enough speed ups, this stage can be a bit brutal for you. But if you have too many speed ups, it can also be a little brutal, because you can pretty easily run into these walls as you're going along. Except it's the original, yeah, exactly. There we go. Trying to keep my force field uh, option available. Not picking up any power ups. There we go. Gonna go ahead and not shoot through here because we don't want to lag the game. There we go. Alright, now we got some walls coming at us. Coming at us hot. Drop it like it's hot. Oh, we got one of the easiest bosses as well coming up here. <laughs> Just make sure not to get hit by the core coming into the screen. You can even make it an, a completely safe boss by just blowing everything up. And that's the that boss. Bit of a mid-stage boss. And now we're going to go ahead and take one more uh, shot here. We want to cycle out our force field again. There we go. But now the danger comes in the stage moving. So we got to be mucho careful here. Go away here. Now we're going to go forward. Just a little bit on the careful side. That will always shoot when you get next to it. So if you don't have a force field, make sure you get one, or make sure you you wait there for a second. All right. Now we're gonna go ahead and kill this boss pretty quickly. Uh, oh, we were, but then I realized I was letting up way too many uh, enemy bullets here. But this should still be pretty quick win. Again, all we do is trap our bomb inside of it. Piece of cake. And now we're on the last stage. <laughs> you, we died two times in the first stage in this run, and we had zero lives, now we have 35 lives. I don't know where the big up thrust of lives comes from, but you just get tons of them later in this run. This is the scariest stage uh, because it has the spawning walls that will just crush you. So we're hoping that we don't make a mistake and get crushed here. Hoping. It's not here yet, but it will be in a second. Here comes some something. Oh! <laughs> I worry about the other part, and I don't even get through there. That, that's smart of me. Whoopsie Daisy! <laughs> Crunch. At least we get to listen to the jam again, you know. It's really good. This will be significantly harder now, by the way. Especially this part. This is the worst part now. <laughs> I try to manipulate these things. Okay. There we go. Still scary here, because I could... This, this is not a good position to be in. Let's just say that. That 
that's why. <laughs> this is where, that's where you'd normally feel safe, but unfortunately I am, uh... I'm a bit in trouble here. But we can get through this. I can't believe I just randomly flew into the, like, the easiest part of this level. But hey, that's marathon luck for you, right? That's just how it be. Now we gotta roll with it. Wow, we gotta roll with it. I couldn't get that. Uh oh. Oh god. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> All right. There's actually dialogue here, but the music's too loud to actually hear it. Ah, oh, it's such good music, though. See? Even have, uh, movement of the mouth. <laughs> Speak up! Let everybody know! And there we go, we can dance where they once were. And that's Gradius too. Couple bumps in that one, that's okay. I gotta go switch to my Super Nintendo. Sorry about that noise. <laughs> we are now on to Garadius 3. Oh, baby. All right, first we got to go to options because we're going to need to uh, put it on easy. But also, if you mash A, you can get arcade difficulty. There we go. Everything's Gucci. And of course, we're gonna set ourselves up with some Hawk Winds, the best double E lasers, for normal options, reduce the best, the absolute best shield in Gradius. It is good, it really is good. Oh, listen to that music. No ripple. Truly the <laughs> most, the biggest conundrum of our time. All right, we're actually. I'm going to go ahead and get uh right away. Reduce reduces your ship to this tiny little ship, and you get two hits out of it. <laughs> Ship. Look how adorable it is. 
Alright. So we're gonna get E-Lasers. E-Lasers is what breaks this game when it comes to spear running. They're so good. There's many ways you can use them to be to your advantage in this one. And we definitely switched to putting missiles onto another button because missiles are a huge part of lag as everything is in this game. Mm -hmm. This is by far the laggiest of the first three. Also uh, launched a uh, title for the SNES. There we go. And we're going to, of course, get ourselves an option here. And as you will see here shortly, this boss... Oh, I thought I had it. Is dead. E-Laser is so powerful. <laughs> Usually it takes two hits. I actually let go of the second one too quickly. All right, we're gonna switch over to double in this stage. Uh, it is much more efficient for the bubbles. <laughs> we're also going to sit at one option for a little bit here, because that is maximum lag reduction, pretty much. With just one option, you're you're pretty good. Uh, to chill for a while. We'll go up to two when the in due time. We don't want to actually touch any bubbles here. It's less much less laggy to let them go in the beginning here. I just, I can never get enough of Gradius music, y'all. I just can't. It's so good. We're gonna hold on to this as long as we can, pretty much. Didn't mean to use that there, but... Now is at the point where we can't really just skip it anymore, and plus the more bubbles on the screen now means the bigger bubbles will pop, uh, just pop, period, and not pop into smaller bubbles, because there's a limit to how many bubbles are on the screen. Um, which is lovely. Any chance we get to just let them pass us by, it's a good thing. But unfortunately, we're going to be a little laggy here. Don't have too much of a choice. Thankfully, most of the bubbles actually left the screen, so that wasn't that bad. Not too bad. We reduced quite a bit of lag there overall. And this is the game I like to use most as the measurement for shmup speedrunning, because uh, the time between a casual run and a regular run of this game, just from lag reduction, no deaths on either run is like almost 10 minutes, which is an incredibly significant difference. And there's that boss. All right, and we're moving on. Most stages in this, we're going to be switching back to the double. Because it's just better overall for screen, uh, for killing the smaller enemies and making sure the screen stays less cluttered. Gonna still maintain the one option though. Don't wanna go up too far in that yet. The music gets really good here too. Do, 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 do. Love it. Right, where our missiles are gonna come a little bit more in handy. As well. Unfortunately, we gotta mix that one up. There we go. Uh-huh. There we go. All right. And that one can fall right there, right there. Uh, all right. So yeah, a lot of lag 
introduction on the stage, specifically in this section, actually. We got to kill the things that are spawning over here pretty quickly. They will launch a lot of uh, bullets onto the screen, which should not be good. Got that one down as well. All right. We got a bit of a, a bit of a volcanic situation here. And hopefully I won't miss it, but there is a warp coming up here. We didn't miss it. And this will make this, uh, uh, this will make the stage shorter. Because this is one of the laggiest stages in the entire game. And here's a bonus stage. Burn out. Be a little scary, but... There's a lot of stuff. You can collect a lot of uh, points on this stage from these things. And uh, the the, um, the laser, the double here is actually really useful. There we go. But yeah, these are, this is a massive point stage. There we go. Look at that. We're taking it a little bit slowly here. Woo! Is it pointless? Oh ho ho! You funny. Alright, and we don't even go to the boss on that stage. We just skip it. We just skip it. But the, the, the end of that stage is one of the laggiest messes in the game. <laughs> so it is nice to actually skip it. It's, it's kind of painful how laggy it is. So Moai Heads just died one hit in this one, <laughs> which is nice. Uh, unfortunately, we're making a bit of lag here, but... Hopefully we can sort that out. A lot of it sometimes is just not shooting. <laughs> Cheerios dimension, the Fruit Loops dimension, it's all of it. Alright, so let's just take that one out. Then we're gonna zoom up here and do it again. And then we're going to do it one more time. Just sit here. It's definitely less laggy than blowing up more of them. Alright, let's go switch over to our e-laser because you know it's boss time! We just had a nice Moai boss. We're going to have another Moai boss in this one. quicker but not too bad alrighty then and onward we go oh I, I'm one pass double we do want to get double again so you don't really need double uh, it's just I find it generally easier in a lot of situations than 
for then using the e-laser just as like a regular shooter. Uh, you have up to four options in this one, by the way. But standard, oh. And yeah, what options, much less laggy. I love this stage's music. I think it's my favorite in the game. Favorite or second? Like the last stage. Hmm. Oh, what the? I got one of my shields. Uh, broken's there. Let's get through here. Such a source sage. Such good music, though. This boss lags regardless. It's just going to lag. You don't really have much of a... much of an option in it. We kind of got... put on the outside here. I didn't want, but... Not a big deal. Come down, please. There you go. Slurpee! We do want it to actually circle us before we blow it up. There we go. <laughs> Alright, not too shabby. And now we just need to replace our shield, go back to double again, and we're good. It's, loved, it's lovely to see y'all. I love having y'all here. Retrothon is amazing. I love being a part of it. I love watching y'all's runs. So many runs, so many variety. It's great. Alright, um... There's our default ship size again. We don't want that, though. <laughs> Absolutely not. Hey! Maybe next year Super Bonk will get in. Or somebody else submitted, I should say. Such good music. I can't ever get enough. Look at the background here, too. I still think it's pretty impressive, like, the layer and design of this game. This looks so neat. Again, not much you can do about the lag here. Those plant arms tend to make it lag really badly. Yeah, the vi plant arms. The vines. We're just gonna chill up front. <laughs> it's it's unbelievably good. <laughs> I'm just stop to go over this now. Look who it is. It's it's... it's a plant, y'all. <laughs> it's a plant. And it's dead. Piece of cake. I love that e-laser. Yeah, and pretty much shmups in general. I'd say like 99% of shmups have pretty excellent music. So we're going to pick up our second option here now. <laughs> here comes these MFs. Always lagging the screen with your bullets. We'll just let that happen there. Boom. Get enough for e-laser and 
be on our way, everyone. We moving again. A little faster than before, but yeah. A slight bit faster, one might say. <laughs> uh, sometimes I have three speed ups at this part, um, but I feel two speed ups is pretty good enough to get through this game. It's a bit safer. time so we're just gonna get enough for uh, a replacement for our uh, shield going forward here <laughs> down boom boom oh ha ha yeah That's when you know it's it's ready to to party. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> That's all I have to say about that one. Hey, remember this from Gradius too? This, I like this boss that it puts this huge pattern of bullet spray, but when you destroy half of it, it actually shuts off that half of the ship. Like, I think that's pretty cool. I might not see here because I might just blow them both up. Oh, or not. There we go. See? That's neat. <laughs> Copy another game. Shake my head. Hey, this boss is back. A little bit different this time as well. Missile's coming at you a lot faster this time. Oh, caught it right between cycles. Perfect shot. Whoa, coach. Easy there. And now, the final boss of the boss rush. Yeah, almost got it. Oh, for Pete's Pete. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, they like to try to improve their designs. Beauty. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a double. Reduces the lag, makes it easier to clear the screen. We should be good to have just two options for the rest of the game. And the music never disappoints. Never disappoints. <laughs> so our missiles are definitely gonna come more in handy. And double. <laughs> Another nice background layer they added here. Now 
I got moving stage again. Spooky moving stages, y'all. Gradius wasn't hard enough. Let's make sure that they have to dodge uh, <laughs> the biggest boss in any Gradius game, the walls, the entire time by pushing them at them. We're gonna stick with this setup for this boss. This may look familiar again. Just saw this in Gradius 2, though it's much, much quicker in Gradius 2. Much less crap coming out of it. Uh, and Gradius too. Are you? I was like, that can be blown up. I was like, why is it continuing to be this way? But now we got rid of it. <laughs> Yo, stay tuned for this event. We got all sorts of speedruns coming at ya. <laughs> Dang. Oh, this is just unfortunate. There we go. I think I'm gonna head get this now, especially for this section. These on arcade and hard difficulty blow up, but you can't blow up their bodies. You have to actually avoid them. It's a bit of a rough situation. Thankfully, we're only playing on easy for the lag -le leastiest difficulty, as they say, in the business. matter we have to wait for the other one anyways and boom cute little crabs go boom and they go they go that's it and we're coming pretty much close to the end of our trilogy run here uh gradius 2 had some trouble in it but overall i think we did pretty well switch back to double again What I like about this run is it uses double and e-laser a lot. You switch back and forth. It's not just one super combo. I think that's actually really neat when it comes to speedrunning shmups when you can do stuff like that. The music in this stage is phenomenal, by the way. We're gonna have to chill here for a second. There we go. I'm just gonna kill the arms on him. A little easier on ourselves. There we go. I should have used e-lasers in that first part, but that's fine. Ah, oh, the music is so good! I, I just can't get over it, Jim. Sorry, I, I'll never not want to point out how good the music is in this game. It's so phenomenal. Wait for it. Absolutely. And that is going to be the end of my little block here. Here's the final boss of Gradius 3. Wow. 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 
Split button there. All right, y'all. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, never mind. Thank you so much for joining me on this Gradius trilogy run here. <laughs> Thank you so much for the GGs. I appreciate it so very much. Gradius is a series that I'll never stop loving. It's one of my favorite shmups ever. Um, and uh, it, it, there's so many good ones out there. Thank you all so much for the GGs. Uh, and it felt just good just, just going through it again, yeah? Going through it again. Love it. Alright, let me see uh, what's going on here. Thank you again for all the GGs. The music in this is so good. I implore you all to play these if you're curious about shmups at all, and if you want to speedrun them as well. There's uh, some awesome tech in these games to do. Really, really awesome tech. <laughs> and then I will start over, of course, as Gradius games tend to loop. Uh, but that's it. Challenge normal mode. Uh, that's it for me, y'all. Thank you so much. And uh, get ready for our next game on the list, the Ninja Spirit. It's gonna be fantastic. And uh, and I'll see you. Uh, I'll see you in chat, y'all.